Hello, it's me, Spirit Guy here. Um, and today I'm gonna be, re be reviewing um, Terminator Dark Fate. I did see this in theaters. I don't know why I didn't review it when I got home from the theater, um, or that day, or. But for some reason, I waited until like four months after the movie was released. Well, like four and a half months. But yeah, I haven't seen it since. Um, I just wanted to get this review out since it was like really, really late. But yeah, this movie is really good. Um, it's definitely better than all the others except um, Terminator 2, which was the best one. Um, yeah. I don't know why nobody liked this movie. I think people. I th I think I think um. If Genesis and Salvation hadn't came out, um, this would have probably been a better success because everyone was tired af tired of Terminator after Genesis, and I can see why. But the movie wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as Salvation though. But um, yeah. I forgot the new Terminator's name. But that Terminator, that Terminator was really cool. Like, um, the way it could like the like the liquid metal could come off the endoskeleton. It was really cool, and yeah, this movie was really good. It, I, it's, it's two hours and eight minutes. I don't know if that's longer or shorter than the first one. I think it is longer. It's definitely longer. I mean, shorter than both of the cuts of Terminator Two. I watched the extended cut because. Because that cuts better because it's longer. Um, yeah. Linda Hamilton is back in this movie. It's the first one she's been in since Terminator 2. Um, and yeah, this is a really, really good movie. And yeah, for some reason, Arnold, um, or the Terminator in this movie, the T 800, I think. His name is Carl, and he, like, sells drapes. It's weird. It's weird choice, but. Yeah. Also, I don't know how a robot could have kids since Arnold, or the Terminator, does have kids in this movie for some reason. Or a kid. I don't know how that works. It makes no sense how a Terminator could even have a kid, though. But yeah, um... This is rated R, which is a really good thing, because Terminator, Terminator movies should always be R-rated. Um, the first three were the weird R-rated cut of Salvation, which is rated R. It's literally no different than the theatrical cut. I watched it. I couldn't tell the difference. I think it's, like, supposed to be longer, and then no cut of Genesis was R-rated, which, which, which was not a good choice, but yeah. Um, I definitely recommend this movie. I have to get it back in the slipcase. There we go. But yeah, um, yeah, this is a very good movie, and I definitely recommend it. Bye.